Today, we're learning from some of the best 1v1 players in the game. Over the past few weeks, I've been playing with some of the top 1v1 players in the world and asking them questions about improving as a ones player in general. Today, I'll be showing you some of the answers they gave about improving as a player and how to get better at ones. The four players that are featured in today's video are King Rainy, Magic Bear, Kinsa, and Joyuse. Each have been in the top 10 many times in the past and are all incredibly talented players in their own ways. With different approaches to the game, I hope you enjoy learning from some of the best in the world. Now, as always, if you enjoy the content and want to see more, feel free to sub to the channel to keep up to date with my content. Now, something else I really quickly want to talk about is Twitch. I'm currently streaming every day on Twitch for the next month and would love to see you there. There are also competitions running all the time over on my Discord server where we decide the winner on stream. The current competition is for the next set of emotes that I'm adding to the stream and the winner will get a little bit of money for their designs. Links to both of these are in the description and I hope to see you there. Also, the link to these guys' socials are all in the description as well if you want to keep up to date with them and watch their incredibly high level gameplay. So, I play two games against each of them, asking them questions about 1v1s and how to improve. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Do you want me to play normally, by the way? I don't, I don't yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. I, I want to get like, I want to get smashed. Like, I, okay. <laughs> cool. I can do that now. Jesus, okay, good start. And being a former top 100 player, is there any one thing, Jesus, okay. <laughs> is there any <laughs> one thing you would say changed up, like you implemented into your game while you were learning that really changed up your gameplay? So shooting was probably the biggest. I feel like it, shooting is a really underrated mechanic just like being able to hit the ball correctly and with power <laughs> right uh especially like with with learning how to hit the ball with the corner of my car once i did that it it was a big game changer because i could just kind of it, it allowed me to kind of shoot from everywhere and in 1v1s where you need to be able to shoot from everywhere and be more consistent with your shoot with your with your shots right uh it, it really helps me with 1v1s and on, as well as season threes though i mean do you think ones is important for improving gameplay like in general uh, generally, absolutely. I do, would you like me to explain on that, or? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to. Okay. So, the reason that it's just generally better is because it can make you a more, um, more all-around balanced player. Right. And if you don't, if you only play twos and threes, your ground game, your shadow defense, your decision making for for some challenges isn't going to be as good as it could be if you played a lot of 1v1s because you get put in those situations and you it's it forces you to learn how to play smarter and learn how to uh dribble and stuff like that right as well as it improves your kickoffs because you get a lot of a lot Shit. of practice with them you go for a lot of kickoffs and ones so yes most helpful game mode by far I big, big fan. cannot read this. <laughs> I feel like I'm like in the right position. I'm just getting like dunked on from the air. Okay. What three things do you think people should improve on or like should focus on when trying to oh my god, when trying to get better at once? Um first and foremost, um Oh man. First three things okay, the first touch is a huge thing that I I think people should work on. It's very underrated. If you if like the first touch is the beginning to every single dribble that you do. If you don't ha if you hit the ball too hard with your first touch, then it's it's not going to be a good dribble. You're just giving up possession. Number two would be shooting, um, and oh my god, sick. <laughs> for you said for one v ones or just in general? For uh, for ones, I'd say. Okay, then um, then ground control as well. Okay, just generalized dribbling the ball, and moving it around the field. When did you score on me? Uh, I got. I think I got lucky. <laughs> I've been so distracted by the the questions, just kind of playing on auto, autopilot. <laughs> oh, there's one. I've been like trying to like listen in, but I'm so focused sometimes. <laughs> like, oh god, <laughs> I'm just trying to not get scored on. Uh, when you were becoming, uh, I mean, I guess it's hard if you've always been like top 100, but like while you were, um, grinding out ones, trying to get better at ones. What is there anything specifically you did to improve your gameplay? I know you mentioned shooting earlier. Was there like certain drills oh, or something you would do so for me um i was really putting a lot of time into drifting um but i think what i saw the most success out of and like started getting me a lot of goals is when i really uh started focusing on my flicks um they're one of my better parts of my gameplay for example <laughs> um but the thing is i i wish i put even more time 
into my um, my general dribbling ground control actually because you can't do flicks very consistently or with much power unless you are able to get the ball to be settled on top of your car um, right and just like to really to, to get more ball touches you need it to be settled basically how did you <laughs> <God damn. laughs> and then she took the softest touch and it got flung at my net okay um right so you would recommend even when you think so your dribbling is like peak you just keep going mm -hmm. yeah. i mean that that was more for like when i started i i think like now i'm i'm still really going with this ground control i i think that it's it still has long ways to go right um but for like we start seeing a peak for for like just dribbling um so a lot of like a lot of workshop maps really helped me uh with my my ground control right that's I focused on a lot of is like dribble challenge to and other dribble maps like left mirror dribble map once i got good enough at, at norm at dribbling normally on the dribble two i could got a good time on that i think at like 10 nine minutes or something right then i decided to switch over to um to Left Mirror's two thousand dollar one, and that one <laughs> whips whips my ass in, in shape real quick. <laughs> it is it is hard. It's really fun and, and helpful though. I think you should get like fifteen like if you can get fifteen minutes or under in yeah. dribble overhaul two. That's probably a good indication that you can you should start moving on because you'll you'll kind of get like less benefit out of it if you keep on doing it when it's not going to help you as much. It's not like challenging as much. Like knowing they're both equally important, would you say shooting is more important than positioning, or the other way around? Absolutely. I I I put shooting all the way up there with learning how to aerial in this game. I think it's that important. Oh, okay. Like yes, everything else is is re like, there's a lot of things that are really important, but with shooting, like since there's nothing that really teaches you how to shoot in the training, like the tutorial. Mm. It's it's that much more important that you learn it as soon as you can because there's nothing else that's going to teach you how to hit the ball correctly. Right. Um, unless you find like a YouTube video, but you really have to like seek it out. And a lot of people don't realize that they're they're not shooting like a lot of the pros are. Like you're able to see these pro players hit hit crossbar down from across the field. Yeah. And a lot of, like a lot of that's repetition, but to be able to get to go that far in the first place and get it to go where they want, like you need to be able to have like the same kind of motion every like and be able to control your car just the way you want it to uh you want to for those kind of shots right is there a certain way you personally worked on your shooting um so oh, there's a a single training pack that i find that me and a lot of other pros apparently find is is like their most preferred for teaching people to get better um and it's the the strength and accuracy training pack by by vince um good for anyone over like gold level right and uh yeah it's it's a really like sort of basic um shooting training pack and i would just use it to to really focus on on getting good corner shots with your car hitting with the corner and be able to hit through the ball but i can give you the code to that if you if you would like oh, it cool thank it's, you i give it to everyone strength and accuracy okay considering everyone is still improving is there like do you have a warm-up routine that you do consistently so I like to tailor my warm-up routine. Nice goal. Um, I like to tailor my warm-up routine for whatever game mode I'm going to be playing. Right. So, for example, if I'm maining one v ones, normally most days I'm going to be tailoring my warm-up for one v ones. But for warm for one v ones, which is my most played game mode, mm. um, it would usually be about like 10 minutes of like striker training, either with that map or with one of the ones that I made. Um, Sorry, let me score on you real quick. That was scary. <laughs> the little wave dash is actually one of the most intimidating things I've ever seen. <laughs> that was some gold. And then um, at this rank, I I normally work on like ground control and like just being able to dribble the ball around the field. Um, working on movement sometimes, just so I can like wave dash around the field effectively, and, like have clean movement. Oh and my um, God. I'll see what else do I do? Usually I, I do a little bit of dribble training, like the workshop. I'll do like a workshop map or two as part of, warm, as part of my warm up. Right. Uh, I'm probably missing something, but. <laughs> okay, interesting. So you have yeah, about 30 kind of minutes of warm up every time. Every nice. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, what would you say? I, I, I think people who know you might know this. What would you say is your favorite like move or mechanic? 
definitely drifting. Yeah. You know <laughs> a lot of people do if they, if they follow my Twitter or watch my streams. But uh, I, I, I have come a long ways in the game. Like I've, I've played for 7,600 hours now. And I've been wow. really focusing on drifting as just a, its own mechanic. Like I started off working on like drift shots first, and I started working on just like ground dribbling or like drift dribbling and uh, drift catching stuff like that right. to utilize it more. But um, that was all since like before 400 hours in the game. So Jeez. it's been like my, one of my most worked on mechanics since for about 7,000 hours now at least. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> right. Cool. And that, I think that's all my questions. That was, I got smashed. Perfect. But like that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, oh, I, I had need a lot of possessions. That. <laughs> I know right. So, though, so I guess for me, is that something you would recommend me working on? Giving you less, less time or pressuring more? So yeah, against higher levels, definitely you want to be pressuring more. But um, I, I do think you're probably giving me a little bit more space than you need to. Okay. Uh, from what you've seen from those two games, um, mm -hmm. was is there anything you would say needs work? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so I I didn't see many good dribble plays. Um, right. Some of it is just due to strategy, uh, like being able to to notice when you could keep possession and um, not just kind of give it away. I feel like you're giving away possession a little bit more than you needed to right but honestly if you just start working on your on your flicks especially like 45 degree flicks around this rank and just general ground control you'll you'll be fine cool where can people oh, find you <laughs> so i i stream most nights on twitch.tv slash king um quick shameless plug would be <laughs> for my youtube channel and of course. the free play streams youtube channel free play streams is the uh the content house that I, I live in with a bunch of other awesome Rocket League streamers. Oh, cool. We upload videos every week, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Twitch. No, uh, YouTube.com slash free play streams, I think, should be the link for that. Awesome. Okay, so first off, uh, what rank are you currently on the leaderboards? Uh, to be honest, I don't really keep track of the, my rank on the leaderboards. All right, you just I think it should yeah. be like around top 20. Oh yeah. Once, uh, in twos, uh, probably like top ten. Jeez. I don't really play ranks to get high on the leaderboards, more to improve my mechanics. Was there any one thing you found that once you implemented it into your gameplay, really, uh, like, kind of improved your game overall, or helped the way you play ranked? Help the way you play one, sorry. Um, I don't know. Maybe the biggest thing is demos. Yeah, probably. And. Bounce dribbles, they're great as well. I mean, I think my once game is probably really good because I've got a lot of variety in my play. Yeah. So I do like uh, air dribbles, flippy sets, ceiling shots, everything you might, uh, uh, everything you can think of. I'll do it at once. Yeah, your arsenal's pretty, pretty mad from what I've seen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, blanket statement: Would you say that ones is important for improving overall? And why? Uh, yeah. I mean, it, 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 it's really easy to prove, improve mechanics in ones and fifties because you always like you need to do them. In threes, you can just stay back a bit. You can let your teammates do the work. Yeah. And once you can actually improve yourself, you have to do it yourself so you get better at it yourself as well. Right. Yeah. Like all the work comes down to you, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Yes. In general, what three things do you think people should focus on when trying to get better at ones? If you had um, to pick three things. No, I'm not a great coach, but people <laughs> have been asking me the, uh, this question a lot. Yeah. I think it's try to keep oh, wow. uh, possession of the ball as much as possible. <laughs> yeah. Just keep the, so that includes like, if you feel an attack or hit off the backboard, try to run it back to your own corner boost. Mm. So keep possession of the ball. Um, Mix your challenges in with fate challenges and early challenges um, to surprise the opponent. And then, um, if you really want to like win games, probably don't do anything crazy in the air or on the ground. Go for like 
low risk place even if they don't always work out or barely work out so it's low risk place so you'll always be able to get back like now nah, okay that not that flick i mean like 50s low 50s yeah just banger shots from the halfway line right so play a safer game yeah really safe Okay, so how did you go about improving your gameplay? Did you do any specific drills or training or anything? Uh, none. I mean, I just go in ranked and try to do the most cool things I can. I just let my mechanics do their thing and try to improve them. Try to like, find a face for like one more third. Only do double resets just to improve from them. And I think that's literally what improve. Like when I go back, for instance, on my PS4, yeah. I'd like, I remember seeing like a replay from when I was Platinum 2 yeah. and the only thing I'd do was like even if I had an open net I'd just take it up the wall, go to the ceiling, try to do a ceiling shot. So everything just to improve my mechanics. So everything was like a long term, if you improve it, even if yeah. you miss, even if you lose, it's just about improvement. Yeah, just improve Nice. that certain thing. I mean, I think, yeah, that's pretty like... There are a lot of players that don't play ranked or are scared to play ranked because they're too scared of losing the rank they're at. Yeah. And it's, yeah, I think they're missing out a lot on the improvement side of it all. You currently have yeah. a training routine that you're doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I really suck at shooting. No, no, <laughs> really? So now my teammate, like, I asked my teammate for a shooting pack and he gave me uh, some Lefemir shooting pack and I do that like two hours a day now. Improve my shooting. It's always something to learn. Uh, seeing as you've been at the high level for quite a while, and you'll you'll know yourself that the the ones meta has changed a decent amount. Um, do you say the aerial yeah. game is much more important in ones nowadays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's probably because uh, people have got way better uh, recovery mechanics than before. So the yeah. high level people and also like regular grand champs can go for like flip resets in the air and and yeah. stuff like that without um like conceding if they don't score just yeah they always keep a bit of boost and really good recovery mechanics so now you've also got the possibilities to do them without getting scored on and that makes no aerials plays are way more yeah uh usable and once and important i guess true uh, and with uh, recoveries being so important nowadays, is there a certain way you trained your own recoveries? Was it just, like you said, like replay, uh, free play and ranked? Um, I mean, just implementing what I heard from like YouTube videos and stuff. Um, in rank, just try to like, um, I mean, I always, like, I think like seven, eight months ago, I think it was Jolly Boy, yeah. Mm. I, I learned from him that like holding um, power slide when you land, yeah, gives you like such an easy recovery because you won't like stop. And I started like thinking about that whilst playing myself, just focusing on that, and then trying to make it um, something that's like, into my muscle memory, so I do it every time. And since then, my recovery's way better than before as well. Right. So you are better. of the mindset that it's just go on a ranked and do it, and even if you lose, like it's, yeah. it's like a long term. Oh yeah, you're gonna improve yeah. long term. Uh, yeah. But uh, where can people reach you? And I'll plug everything in the description for you. Okay, um, I've got a Twitch and a Twitter. Um, yeah, on Twitter it's Chorius with an underscore. Yep. And on Twitch it's the same. Chorius underscore. Okay, no yeah. worries, man. So, in general, for ones, do you have any three things you think people should focus, like, if they wanted to improve on ones, the three things people should uh, focus improving on? Uh, boost management and flicks and, like, controlling the ball. Like, don't give, like, uh, them possession a lot. Don't miss. Jeez. And would you say your, your style of play is more aggressive or uh, passive? It's definitely more aggressive, yeah. Oh, damn it. And... Oh, okay. <laughs> and as someone who has an aggressive playstyle, how would you say Ace is the best way to... Jesus. 
<laughs> the best way to counter an aggressive playstyle? Uh, best way to counter is just to let them monkey and just like and just like counter them. Right. Like, I don't know. Um, let them just, like, run make for them and just for it. play yeah. a bit more patient. Yeah. Okay. But don't give them like like too much space. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to take that in now. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, that's how I got encountered by multiple multiple players in ranked. Um, I think everybody like has their own way to like like um, that is most effective for them in ones. Yeah. And uh, if they can just master it and like make the other like opponent like like struggle over it, I think that's like really big for them. Play to your own strengths, but. Yeah. Do it in a way that is beneficial and not like just kind of ball chasing. Yeah, yeah. Right. How did you go about improving your gameplay? Like, was it through drills and training or just grinding ones every day? Um, well, the first time when I got uh, top 100, like, I just came back from a slump. <laughs> and <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm just going to play once, like, for like three days in a row. So I did that. And. I just I just didn't care, and right. I somehow just got like 200 points in like one day. I don't know. I, I think like mentality helped me a lot, like not caring if I lost or anything. Right. So would you say yeah. the mentality side of ones is one of the more important aspects? Yeah, it's really important. <laughs> if you just keep like bringing yourself down because you keep losing, like it's not, you're not gonna win. Like, right. In my eyes. Uh, I mean, I guess it's hard. I was gonna say when you're first learning a mechanic, but I'm sure you've you've got pretty much everything you need to down. When you're learning mechanics or like improving them, how do you focus? Wait. <laughs> Hold on, I need to watch this. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, how do you how do you work your mechanic? Is it just like purely free play? Ah, uh, yeah. I think what well, helped me like with my mechanics like a few years ago I just always like freestyle like my friends. Right. I'm just being proud of just freestyling. I feel like that helped with my mechanics. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, my boost management needs some work. <laughs> Every time I'm like stuck in the end yeah. <laughs> I'm stuck in the other room and I'll go with no um no boost. When it comes to ones, what would you say are the most important aspects of the game? Out of like, the I mean, there's positioning, there's shooting, there's defending. Would you rank any higher than each other? Uh, I think shooting, shooting and defending. I cause, actually, yeah, I I think they're all equal. Yeah, all equal, yeah. Cause you can't like have one like unbalanced. Yeah. Uh, from what you've seen in my gameplay, uh, there are obvious flaws. Is there anything you would say needs immediate work to, for improving? Um, I think your flicks are really good. Like, there's a couple times where you just flicked it like to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think you should work on like your speed. Right. Yeah, I, I think speed's like really important ones as well. Like keeping up with pace or like knowing when to slow down as well? Yeah, knowing how to like be fast oh. and be slow. Oh, I thought I got my flip. <laughs> so when it comes to speed, how would you... Oh. Uh... Oh. Ah. <laughs> when it comes to speed, is there anything... I guess because I can see you're definitely a, a faster player because it matches your aggressive play style. Um, is there anything you would suggest training-wise? Like, how did you how did you become a faster player in general? Was it just just playing? Um, I I really think like because on PS4, like I used to be such a big ball chaser, so I feel like that helped me like with speed, but. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just ball chase pretty much. <laughs> and then over time you learn, you learn when yeah. not to, I guess? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's smart. And the speed just stuck with me. 
No. All right, giving away possession too much. 10 seconds. If I can hold out <laughs> against a flick. Oh, God. No, please. Ah, no. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll keep it up. I'll keep it up and I'll pass it to you. Wait, ah, ah, ah. I'm okay. I'm losing it. All right. Oh, oh. One more shot. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, I just want to see if I could save one more shot. All right. <laughs> How often do you implement wave dashes in your game? Is it just every time you I... land? Yeah, like uh, coming off the wall, like we're dashing when you have zero boost, like it's really useful. Like a like an always thing, like all, go to. Yeah, I, I I'd say I do it a lot. Like nice. Once in a while, like not not once in a while, like every time. <laughs> do you have uh, any social medias or anything you want to plug where people can reach you, see you? Um, my Twitch is uh, Magic Bear RL, right. and my Twitter is Magic Bear. Yep. <laughs> cool. I'll put this both in the description for you. Okay, so uh, like kind of a blanket question. Do you think ones is an important is important for improving your overall gameplay, and why? Yeah, def yeah, definitely. Because um, most of the times when you get scored on, it points out like um, like your mistake and like mm -hmm. what you did wrong. So I think that helps a lot. Um, I think like it also can be like helpful in threes. Like if you know your mistakes in ones and. It can right. just go all, to all game modes. So. so you kind of recommend anyone looking to improve in general should pick up ones. Yeah, I would say ones and free play. Maybe. Free play, right? Yeah. Okay, so when trying to get better at ones, uh, what three things do you think people should focus on? Um, I think I think it kind of depends on like the playstyle they kind of want. Like if they want like a, um, you know, lion blaze kind of playstyle where they're just kind of like counter attack you know save everything um or if they want like a ball Jeez. chasing one <laughs> yeah <laughs> kind of like what mine is <laughs> um but for for mine for me personally i would say it was like boost management like recovery speed and um just kind of like positioning if that makes sense right so you would say your play style is a lot more aggressive than some players yeah definitely i have a more aggressive play style. Okay. Um, so when you were learning and like improving in ones, were there any certain things you did to improve your gameplay? I know you spoke about boost management. Were there any like certain like drills or training things you did? Oh, um, I worked on my long shots. Um, I worked on that a lot. I also worked on like my aerial game, um, and it was just like training packs and stuff like that. That I like to do. Right. So long shots. Aerial. Do you think aerial, like the aerial game, is an important part of ones? In like, I think it's become more so now. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And would you say the aerial um, game is and like is important at a higher level? Um, I think like as um as like AJ is coming in and like Chronic, I would yeah. say yeah, because um you need to have like in my opinion, I feel like you have to have like good um. You have to be good in the air to like kind of defend in the air. Right. So I would say yeah. Um, I think it's it's almost as like much important as your game, uh, ground control. Okay. So despite the leaderboards and like you may agree with the leaderboards, but who would you say is the current uh, number one player? The current best in one a, players. In NA or like all around? All around. Um, I would say probably. Oh, Khaled. Right. Um, even though I feel like he lost against Julius, Julius? I think, yes, yeah, I still think like he's really good. And you know, I feel like it just—it was just like who was playing better on that day. Yeah, but, it was a close game. Yeah. So. Um. Okay. I, I guess from Oh Khaled and Julius, then is there anything you could say? Uh, like anything you would take away from the gameplay say people could learn from these guys um, I would say like their decision making is really good um, like kind of like when to challenge the ball when to like um, leave the ball when to like you know just kind of like what to do in like right. situations and stuff like that so. 
Yeah, because I know, like, I think Akala kind of, I guess, has repopularized the idea of the bounce dribble. Like, that's his, his bounce mm -hmm. dribble is kind of just insane. Um, yeah. I know a lot of people <laughs> have started picking it up since. Uh, something else. Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 something else i think that's just recently come up is this whole um the air roll right and left thing mm -hmm. um do you um, have like specific opinions on that like do you play with air roll left and right or just air roll left or like a, a mixture of, uh, i mean just air roll or yeah i just use, i use regular air roll and then air roll right right um i think it helps like a lot in the air um i think i use it use it way more than I use a uh, regular arrow. Really? Um, yeah. Um, I use it for my half flips, like aerials, everything. <laughs> so I think, yeah, it's definitely something like to bind. Okay, and <laughs> I can see the long shots coming into play, man. I actually cannot get <laughs> back. Jesus, like a little bit. Just trying to defend heavily here. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> please <laughs> all right i think i'm safe Ooh. Yeah. all right i'll change it to oshi oh wait we're still going here we go one last diff. yeah one last go oh, God. Huh. <laughs> all right so do you find yourself <laughs> i'm trying to more of a risky <laughs> player when it comes to once I was like trying to say it as you were going with stuff like that and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so like, do you, I guess you're allowed to be risky in this game because there's, there's no real like threat, but like in a, I don't know, like I'm just seeing how the, the meta in ones has kind of evolved recently, uh, especially over the past yeah. year. Would you say you are more inclined to go for riskier plays or is it just really come down to situation? I think, I think it comes down to situation. Um, you don't want to go for risky plays like all the time yeah or you don't want to like you always want to play safe sometimes and stuff like that but um i think it's it's like good to go for a risky play here and there because it comes with the high reward you know right so <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> good example <laughs> thank you um so when it does come to that stuff i know a lot of the people on my channel have kind of come from there's a series on my channel, like 100 hours of a certain mechanic. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I actually can't get back. Um, how would you say, <laughs> did, uh, how did you practice these, I guess, higher risk, high reward mechanics? Was it just hours and hours of like free play grinding? Yeah, definitely, yeah. It was just free play. Like, I would do um, like 30 minutes or like 45 minutes of free play, like every day when I felt like I was kind of lacking on the, like, flip resets and stuff like that so i'll just right. keep practicing from what you've seen so far i know we're only what, two minutes into the second game but like oh my god it's even all right so this is, this is a rough question to me because i haven't actually done anything offensive in the last eight minutes um mm -hmm. was, is there any part of my my gameplay you would see and you would say needs like immediate work jesus um, like, there, there is, there definitely is. Randy did not hold back, so I was like very thankful for it. <laughs> um, I would say like, I, I would say like, I would say like sometimes you don't like challenge the ball enough. Right. I say that and you challenge it, <laughs> but I feel like <laughs> you just kind of give me too much space to like kind of do whatever I want. Right. I think that, um, I think if you work on that, that will help a lot. So just um, that's like the big thing I see. Getting a bit more aggressive with everything. Um, kind of just like when you're in defense, like just do like shadow defense or like kind of just be close to the ball, you know? Right. Um, just don't give like a lot of free space. Oh my god, that's it. How important do you think kickoffs are in ones? I know, like I it's, think it's kind of the general consensus that kick like ones is. Like almost all kickoffs to some people. Mhm. Mm um, I th I think kickoffs are actually like really important. I wouldn't say it's like all kickoffs. <laughs> right. But it's definitely like really important ones. If you if you have a good kickoff, then it's gonna help you a lot. Because if you're gonna like you could be better than like a player, whatever. And oh my god. <laughs> How did you recover um, so fast? <laughs> yeah, I was I like would. chilling, taking my time. <laughs> but um. 
Yeah, you could be like better than a player and they can just win off of their kickoffs being better than yours. And right. You can like concede a lot of goals from kickoffs. So. I would say having a good kickoff <laughs> good is definitely important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So when it comes like to 1v1s in particular, would you say, like what would you say are the most important aspects of the game? Like positioning, defense, kickoff, shooting. Um, in my opinion, I feel like Ooh. with ones, it's like kind of everything. Like it tests your defense, your offense, and all of that. But um, I would say offense. Um, like if you have a counterattack play style, so, right? You have to mm. like be able to like have a strong attack to like counter. You know? Yeah. Um, you can't just keep saving the ball over and over again. And yeah, yeah. I think, I think like offense definitely. Damn. So you'd say if people are struggling in one's offense is kind of a big thing to to focus on. Yeah. Okay. And like, would you say just for like someone? Oh, sorry, carry on. Uh, just like flicks and like stuff like that, you know. Just right. having good flicks. Yeah. Oh, I think Damn I see. Oh, real? Yeah. Yeah, I, I like got kicked out. <laughs> as someone who is looking like, as someone is looking to you to say like how, one piece of advice kind of thing. Any any one piece of advice for someone who just wants to improve in ones in general. I mean, I'm at like a champ one level, but like okay, say about the champ one because I think champ time as a champ is when one starts getting Jesus Christ starts getting <laughs> a bit more like some players are really fast some players are really defensive like the play styles really come out mm -hmm. um, is there any one piece of advice you would give to anyone looking to push through and just get better at once in general um, I would say like just just grind free play and work on your mechanics I feel like ones is like a huge part of having good mechanics and right. I think that's something definitely will help if you work on a lot cool so I forgot to ask Kinsa about his social medias, but he has since said that he would like to promote his Twitter and his Twitch, which are both Kinsa underscore. The link to these will be in the description, as well as the link to everyone else's social medias that we've already gone over. So that is today's video, a very, very long video compared to what I normally do. Uh, we did a poll over on the community tab on my channel, and an overwhelming amount of you said uh, the longer video instead of a shorter one with less points or two videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you stayed to the end, because that would be absolutely amazing. But anyways... If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, keep up date with the channel, and liking the videos actually does really help out with the algorithm, especially with these longer videos. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you over on the live stream and in my Discord. Anyway, catch you next time. Peace.